there you guys. Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I'm going to teach you uh, some of this Enter Sandman. We'll get as far as we can get. I've uh, got a clean setting on my amp. I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to put it on the seventh fret of the A string. Right like that. That's what we need. And we're going to need our middle finger and our first finger to do some stuff as well. But so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pluck this open E string up, just open like this. Just like that. Not so hard yet, right? So then we're going to play that seventh fret on the A string next. Just like that. Not hard either, right? But then what we got to do with our pick is skip a string, then we're going to play this open G string. Also known as string number three, but so we go... Right? That sounds pretty cool. And if you got that finger there and you're a beginner, you can look down at your right hand and make sure you're playing the right string. Alright, so you got that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do middle finger on the 6th fret of the E string and then index finger on the 5th fret of the E string, like this. Just 6, 5, so check it out. And if you can get that G string to continue ringing out, that's kind of the one of the characteristics of that intro. Watch really slow. And the thing uh, with, with someone who's trying to learn something, the slower you practice it in the beginning, the quicker you're going to be able to play it at full speed as opposed to just you keep trying it at full speed and screwing it up. Okay, so we've got this little thing right here. Right after you do that, we're going to hit the seventh fret on the A string again. Like that, so check it out. And then that riff starts over again, check it out. One more time a little slower. Start building up with our, with our, uh, we're gonna kick the distortion up on our amp. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play just the open E with a little bit of palm muting. And I, I believe that that clean line's still going boom, boom, gung, gung, gung. And then, but so you know, we're building up the anticipation for that riff. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to be going jung, 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 jung. And then we're going we're gonna to pluck the second fret of the A string and then slide it up to the seventh there. Watch. So that's what it does there. Then it starts to, to, to tease you with a, a little more of that main riff. So the next part of the buildup has, what you're gonna need to do is do an, an F power chord, which is index finger on the first fret of the E string, ring finger on the third fret of the A string, and then so what we're, and this is gonna be part of the rest of the song too, we gotta go. And so originally we're going. So then, it, it, like I said, it teases more of the riff, and you have to go... So it's a power chord here, and then middle finger is going to go to the second fret of the A string for the open E power chord. So check it out. You know, you're still getting that dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun from before with the slide, 
And this time, actually, I think we should use our ring finger on the second to the seven, because then our middle finger is going to go to the seventh fret of the E string as the next tease, like. the next little taste. One more time, super slow. And so finally, it, it does the basically the same thing, but now it's going to be 6-5. So, so what you're seeing here in this song is it keeps teasing and adding layers of the riff until you know, Lars comes in full, full board and they do the whole riff, right? So check this out, we've got... So it's just 6-5 now instead of just 6. chord which has the you know index finger on the second fret of the A string and then the open E string and you go bom, bom. and then I'm gonna slide and you know I'm sliding from the fourth fret I mean they might slide from the second fret they might slide from the fifth fret I don't know it feels good to slide from the fourth up to the seventh so Six five on the low E string. You can do a little uh, real quick. A little little thing that's interesting about this riff is it comes from the blues scale. It's called the blues scale, and guess what? It doesn't sound bluesy at all, does it? It's a little tip for you to look into that. So so it does it once, and I'm doing a little warble right there on the fifth fret of the E string. So it goes like this. One, two, three. So after the third time, we're going to do a power chord on the third fret of the E string. It's called a G power chord. You can actually double up by putting your pinky on the fifth fret of, of the D string there. And we're going to hit that once. Then I'm going to let my index finger off and hit the open E string. So. my ring and pinky down a half step to a power chord now based off the second fret root. Check it out. Then open E again. So check it out. Then we're going to put the finger back down on the second fret and we're going to go so you know up to the third so here's all that parts of art. So two, three, two, and then the riff again. So check it out. 